Hi guys, I'm Mary Poplin with Imagineer Systems, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about what Mocha Pro is, okay? I get a lot of artists asking me, why should I upgrade to Mocha Pro when I already have Mocha for After Effects? What's so great about Mocha Pro? What's in Mocha Pro? Mocha AE is bundled with Adobe CS6 for its 2D planar tracking and roto tools. This supports After Effects CS6 only. After Effects artists that do a lot of Mocha work can add more advanced roto tools to the new 3D camera solve by upgrading to Mocha AE V3, which adds the newest features and more support. Mocha Pro version 3 is the flagship product and includes all our features and adds advanced modules for visual effects tasks. And in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about those differences, what Mocha Pro is, and how you can use it to speed up your workflow. Alright, so let's talk a little bit of business. I know as artists we don't like talking about money or time or any of that stuff, we just want to create artwork, but let's talk a little bit of business anyway. If you think that you're saving money by not upgrading to Mocha Pro from Mocha for After Effects, you're probably incorrect, and let's talk a little bit about why that is. Because we have automated processes in Mocha for After Effects, like the Insert tool and the Remove tool, in Mocha Pro you can just, inside your program, render out things like screen inserts with their own alpha channel and motion blur and lens warp that fit right into your comp as an A over B, and you can do things like automate uh, difficult processes such as Rotopaint, which is a total pain. So let's say you spend one extra hour per shot that you're working on because you're not using the automated processes that are in Mocha Pro and are just going from Mocha for After Effects to After Effects back and forth back and forth and you can't export to any other packages. So let's take that extra hour per shot. Now let's decide how many hours we're wasting per week. Now what if you start to work for two months? How many hours have you wasted? Every hour of overtime is an hour that you're not spending with your significant other or your spouse or your children or your pets if you have them or want them or whatever. You know, that's an extra hour you're not spending screwing around, playing video games, or spending time on yourself. Those hours are more important than work hours. Those hours are the hours you want to leave untouched. Mocha Pro has spoiled me, and I wanted to spoil you, and let's talk a little bit about the features that will spoil you in Mocha Pro, okay? So, first off, we have dedicated tools for roto efficiency in Mocha Pro. In order to rotoscope properly in Mocha, I first make a rough track of the object I'm trying to rotoscope. I then make finer X-blind shapes, or B-splines if you want, and I hook them up to my previous track. I then animate over time using the tracking data to guide my roto and save myself work. Mocha uses my tracking data to move the bulk of the shape, and then it animates between my animated roto shapes. In Mocha Pro, you can take a shot, you can divide it among multiple artists, and you can then combine them all back together at the end and split out the mats that you need from there. We call that the Merge Project, okay? That's only available in Mocha Pro. Now, we also have the ability to export our roto shapes to all sorts of programs. We can export our row shapes to the following programs. Mocha Pro exports shapes to Combustion, G-Masks, Autodesk Flame and Smoke, Nuke Roto Paint Nodes and Roto Nodes, Shake Roto Shapes, Mocha Shape Data for After Effects, and Data for Final Cut. Not only can we export our roto shapes to other programs as splines, we can also render out mats with motion blur and point feathering and all that sort of good stuff right out of Mocha Pro, but not in Mocha for After Effects. And even if at the end of this video, if you feel like you still don't want to upgrade to Mocha Pro, you should upgrade to V3, because the new Roto tools in V3 are amazing. We have the Join Layers tool, where you can join two layers together based on parenting points. Okay? We have the new Layering Order system, where basically you can group layers and you can change all their properties at once. Um, we have an amazing new Dope Sheet, where you can basically go in and check out and see what all of your keyframes are doing in your entire shot, so you have access to those now. We've basically revamped the whole way we do our layers and shapes and, uh, and really improved our roto tools because we listen to you guys' feedback. I know I said earlier that our planar tracking technology, our amazing planar tracker technology, is the same between Mocha for After Effects and Mocha Pro. That's true. And again, just to revamp planar tracking and what that is, our planar tracking tool is a true planar tracking tool. That means that we are looking at the pixels as they move relative to one another through space, okay, on the same plane. And that's how we're able to hold on really well to different objects and shapes better than other tracking programs. We are the pros of planar tracking. Mocha Pro has been used in feature films, network television, commercials, and more. You can take Mocha's amazing planar tracking data 
and you can define it as a corner pen so that other programs can read it. In Mocha Pro, you can export to After Effects, Autodesk, Avid, Boris, Digital Fusion, Final Cut, Motion, Nuke, Quantel, and Shake. Now, in Mocha Pro, you can take that amazing planar technology, okay, and you can use it in the Insert tool. Now, in Mocha for After Effects, you use corner pens, and they're great. They go right into um, After Effects, no problem whatsoever. But in Mocha Pro, you can take your corner pens and you can convert them to an insert that you can then render right out of Mocha Pro and then slap into your comp like A over B, no problem. You don't have to mess with pre-comps. You don't have to mess with making sure everything matches up. You just drop it right into your comp. The insert tool works by just tracking the planes that you want to insert your corner pen onto and making sure that the track is nice. In this case, I'm tracking both of these screens. Now, what I'm doing is I'm aligning the surface tool to the area I want to replace, and then I'm choosing an insert clip to put into the screens. In this case, I'm, again, like I always do, shamelessly plugging my software and inserting a mocha background. I just go to the insert tab, adjust the opacity, click motion blur on, and then I can just render my shot forward. All I have to do is check my render, and I'm done. The whole thing takes about five minutes. Obviously, this has been sped up. Mocha Pro also allows you to take our FBX data from our 3D camera solver, which, again, is available in both Mocha for After Effects and Mocha Pro, but again, only Mocha for After Effects exports to After Effects, whereas Mocha Pro exports to everything. Anyway, Mocha Pro allows you to export the camera solver data into any 3D program that can read an FBX. So, if you need to take our data and go into Maya, Cinema 4D, uh, Max, XSI, um, any sort of program like that, you can take the data out of Mocha Pro and put it into any of those programs. So if you need to use our 3D camera solver data, you can just export that to any program that can read FBXs. It's pretty handy, saves you a lot of time. No more going back and forth uh, saying this is good data, this is bad data, uh, don't use this, look at this only. You just track one plane for a pan tilt zoom camera or any camera that has parallax requires you to track two planes. Pretty easy, very simple to use. So the last module I want to tell you about for what's in Mocha Pro is my favorite. It's the remove module. So let's say you're shooting a scene and the camera guy just can't keep the boom mic out of the shot because his arms are getting tired. You probably need to get a new sound guy, but you can fix this in post as well. Um, or let's say your B-roll camera guy keeps wandering into the shot because he's trying to get the perfect shot for himself. Or just a random Yahoo walks through your shot. Or you have a brand in your scene that doesn't need to be there. Or your lead talent has a blemish on her face that unfortunately just popped up. And that happens all the time, and I'll show you an example of that here in a second. The remove tool is something that you can use for any of those problems, or beauty work, or uh, logo removal, or uh, clean plating, or removing edges for stuff for stereo conversion. It's extremely handy, and here's how it works. You basically track an object, okay, in a scene, and you can roto it or garbage mat it or track it, whatever you want to do. But the important part is you track the background. You track the planar data in the background of the object you're trying to remove, and you remove that. Mocha will look at the background for that, and then look at the object you're telling it to remove, and it will pixel by pixel replace that background. That is just about as close to black magic voodoo as we get. I mean, it is magic how much time it saves you. Um, I've done a lot of clean plates. I've done a lot of paint work in my life. On some of the last movies I worked on, if I hadn't had Mocha Pro, I would have lost my mind. All right, so you know how I said you can use Mocha for things like blemish removal? So let's say your lead talent develops an unsightly blemish right before your shoot. It's no fun at all. It's kind of embarrassing, and makeup doesn't always cover all that stuff up. So sometimes you'll have to do paint work to get rid of that. So that's really simple in Mocha, and I'll show you how to do that. Basically, what you do is you take a rotospline, and you draw it right around your shape. Um, basically, in this case, the blemish, you know. And you roto that through the shot, and then you go ahead and track the background, you make a single clean plate, and you load that into your remove module. Okay? Now in your remove module, all you do is you select your shape, you select to use clean plates exclusively, and in this case I'd probably use linear interpolation, and then you hit render forward. So BAM! You'll start to remove the shape right out of the shot, okay? And you'll be using your clean plate throughout the shot, and Mocha will just replace it and adjust the lighting as you go. It's just that easy, it's the closest thing we have to black magic in our software. It's amazing. If you want to upgrade, I'm going to show you a really easy way you can upgrade right on our website. Upgrading to Mocha Pro has never been easier. If you have any questions, you can go to our upgrade guide or our fact. To purchase, simply go to the store home, 
Select the product you'd like to purchase. You need to select whether or not you're buying the full or the upgrade, and you select the previous version of the software you've owned, if any. Add that to your cart, and either continue shopping or check out. And if at the end of this you still are not sure about whether or not you can afford to upgrade, here's my suggestion. Price it into the next job that you do, and let your client get the tools for your toolbox that you need. Work smarter, not harder, guys. I'm Mary Poplin. I'm Imagineer Systems, Los Angeles-based product specialist. I am currently in Santa Monica, California, and if you have any questions, please let me know. Mary P. at ImagineerSystems.com. You can find that right here. Mary P. at ImagineerSystems.com. And I'm happy to answer any questions on our forums as well. So please check out our forums. Check out our Facebook. We have Twitter. If you tweet, if you're a tweeter, and we'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys, and you have a great day.